Hello and welcome along to match day 14 of the Youth National League of Group 7. It is the Barca under 18 side facing Girona under 18's B side. Over here at the Ciutat Esportiva, Joan Camper set in the middle of San Juan de Despi. Barca currently leading the pack, sitting pretty as the top, at the top as they say. With a very comfortable lead indeed. Currently Barca sitting on 26 points ahead of the second place team Espanyol. While today they face Girona. As I mentioned, the Girona B under 18 side. Going to be sitting ninth in the standings with 17 points. The side for Iban Cuadrados today is uh does not have many surprises indeed the usual suspects will be leading in the starting 11. a side that uh, of course has got the ambition of being promoted and certainly under cuadrado they are currently in good form and on target of doing so girona in the meantime sitting with just the 17 points to their name tied with Sabadei in ninth. Well, things are slowly but surely getting ready to get underway here on match day 14. players are taken to the field in the starting 11 then you saw it on your screens we've got Diego Cochen in goal the back line made out of Jan Colme Tome Pau Cubarsi Alexis Olmedo Albert Navarro Pau Prim Neil Calderon up at the top Adrian Simon Hugo Alba Cristobal Muñoz and Arnau Pradas make up the starting 11 for the home side. For the visitors, we've got Pau Blanco in goal, Santi Payeres, Alex Aguilar, Alex Lomares, Aniol Lopez, Marc Fernandez, Nacho Plaza, Paul Sibero, Juan Fernando Agarón, Marco Vergara, and Paul Lecha, wearing the number 11. It's a perfect day here, a beautiful morning in sunny Barcelona. A good day for a game of football as uh, the referee and his assistants are posing for the picture. The referee for today is Ultra Saez, while the linesmen are Lopez Martin and Moreno I met each. The last final rallies of the both team. Hyping each other up before the ball will commence to roll here in the Ciudad Esportiva, Joan Gamper. The lavish and state-of-the-art sports facility of Football Club Barcelona. The ball is on the way. Uh, Cristobal chasing down the ball. Girona quick out on the attack. Girona aside. That certainly has got some good goal scoring ability, talent, talented players like Nacho Plaza. And he played and started all 13 matches so far this season. 
He's got a goal ratio of uh, scoring nearly a goal every two games. Meanwhile, Neil Calderón for Barça is the top goal scorer for the home side. Six goals so far in the 13 matches that he has played. Navarro there distributing the ball to the right flank. Calderón can't hold on to the ball. That will be the first throw in for Barça. Calderón there. Managing, or nearly managing to take the ball away. Ball being hoofed up to the field, but nobody there from the away side to try to hold on to possession as the ball has fallen back to Olmedo and back in possession of the home side is Alexis. Pradas back to Navarro. Good move there. Michael Barsi escaping the high press. In comes a cross. A little bit too much mustard on it. Ball still in play though. Here's Arnau. We'll seek the help of Navarro. Navarro playing it back. Girona there playing with a clear two defensive line. Able to get the ball back now in their possession. Can they break away for a counter-attack? But it's a good interception there. As uh, that possession was short-lived indeed. Barça able to focus their attention on the offense again, slowly but surely building up the attack. Olmedo playing it out wide. Pradas. Navarro, looking for the 1-2. Ball goes inside. It's on the brink of the 18-yard box, but Muñoz opted to play the ball back. In comes another cross. Not sure if Hugo Alba got a touch to it. It seems like he does, so it'll be a goal kick for the away side for Girona. Again, Girona losing possession very quick. Silvero there immediately giving that ball back to Pradas. As, uh, between Olmedo and Navarra, they've got once again possession of the ball. Here's Prima. It's interesting to see that uh, when it comes to the goal scoring for this side, it's been very, uh, let's say, dispersed within the team, similar to that of the first team. Where we've got one main goal scorer as uh, Pradas here whips in across. That ball being cleared for throw in for Barça. As I said, the goals being divided and spread over the entire squad, while Calderón is the top goal scorer of the team. We're seeing that Marguilli is the second in fourth goals to his name. And then we have uh, two players in Cristobal Muñoz and Hugo Alba. And we've got two goals. And Fariñas, as well as Arnau Pradas, the so far, very active number 11. Both have scored one goal. And even the defenders, such as Jan Colomé, 
getting one goal for the team so far. So another clear standout goal scoring poacher so far has uh, emerged this season for this under 18 side. And that is despite the fact that uh, they are up there with the highest goal scoring teams of the division. But Spradas trying to look for his force once again. The fall ball falls back in a position of Girona as they let it go out for another throw in. So, like I said, Barca are in fact uh, tied in second when it comes to the top goal scoring teams of Group 7 of the Youth National League. 25 goals scored so far this season. Well, conceding 12. The team with the most goals scored so far is Mercatín A. Just the two goals more. Here come Barça then, whipping in another cross, this time from the right flank. It was a good effort there by Muñoz, but didn't get a good touch on it as Pradas decides to chase it down. While the other side applying the high press really well, completely taking out Girona from at least getting a sniff of the ball. Olmedo now distributing that ball between Kubarsi, he gets it back. Girona fully dedicating the game so far to defending, sitting in deep, allowing Barca to enjoy the ball, distributing it amongst the back line, or as you can see, very high on the field as well. And so far, no threat coming from the away side, as it is uh, a game of pick and choose where are you going to slot that ball into the final third that being of course always the challenge against these teams that focus their efforts on sitting as deep as Girona are right now it's a matter of trying to lure the prey from their hole so to speak in comes a long ball over the top it finds Munoz Munoz though unable to get a hold on it wins the ball back good Still holding on to that ball. You can see all the yellow shirts there packing the box. Simon trying to his best to get a shot on target, but eventually getting blocked as Barca are running the ball back all the way into their final third. As they continue to hold on to possession, trying to spread the field trying to find those spaces where to slot the ball. Here's Pradas. Good pass forward. Again. Are now unable to hold on to that ball. Here he is then. He is able to hold on to it now, but it just a touch too far as Pradas was left alone in front of Pau Blanco. The Girona keeper just getting a touch too, but it, Barca's attack so far relentless. Muñoz with Pradas. He was trying to look for Hugo Alba. He gets it now then. Hugo Alba not seeing a clear pass but instead Kubarsi will try it and it's so far in the 10 minutes of the first half we're seeing Barca time and time again in particular from 
the left flank here, trying to look for an opening as they still, despite enjoying most of the position, have to try to test the Girona keeper with a chance on goal. Maybe this time. Hugo finds the Barca number eight, but Adrian Simon was offside. Girona played short. Barca immediately applying the high press. Trying to suffocate Girona into giving up possession. Foul called. Well, it's a bad pass forward as it finds Diego Cochen. It is uh, the first game of match day 14. After this, it will be Figueras against Sabadell before Sardañola Valles will play Cornellà. And Baby J will play against Lleida. Español against Unió Base de Terraza, which closes off at least the Saturday matches for match day 14 in this competition as uh, it was there a missed header by Cristobal Muñoz went from his head to his shoulder now for a goal kick again Girona deciding to play it short are they unable to escape the high line of uh, the entire Barca team they do win a throw in, however. Chiruna playing it all the way back now. They can't find any openings. But it's a very disciplined in making sure they're tracking down these passes. The referee doesn't call the foul, it'll be a throw in. The last five games, Barca picking up three wins. After that two all draw, that took place against Mercantil before going on a three game winning streak. So they could make it four today if they manage to beat Girona here this morning. Here comes another cross. Trying to find Pradas. Wasn't long enough. will be out for another throw in for Barca. So far the league standings, it's a tight affair. Barca sitting at the top with 26 points, Espanyol in second, tied with them on 25. Well, Cornellà in fourth are sitting with 24. So just uh, two points separating the first four spots. Showing you just how tight and competitive this division really is. And that is uh, also taken into account that the case of Cornellà in fourth have played one game less than the rest. It'll 
be a corner kick now for the home side. And here comes, it's a long, trying to find a far post. Ends up at the feet of Kubarsi. Excellent defensive work there by Munoz chasing that ball down. Olmero. Here's Hugo Alba. Good Paul through cutting some of the defensive lines. Unable to find uh, Munoz on that occasion. He had space to continue to drive forward, but he decided not to. Potential handball there. Calderon, but the play continues. Be throwing again for Barça. Again, by Olmedo, just cutting through those lines like a hot knife through butter. Cubarsi. Hugo wants to get a shot. And again, good control there by Munoz and Navarro as well to hold on to possession. Barça are clearing their intent to continue to dominate here offensively. Oh, it's a bad pass by Pau Prima. Pau now trying to make up for his mistake. Nacho running, chasing that ball down as he's faster than his opponent. Passing that ball back to Diego. So far, you have to say, no threat coming from the away side, although if you're a head coach for Barça, Cuadrado, then uh, you certainly would want to see a few more chances created on goal. There's a shot then. Pau Prima unable to control that ball. Whipping that way over the crossbar. Well, excellent disposition there by Pau Prima. Things getting a little chippy. See Navarro as well. Ball again played over the top of the defensive lines. Trying to find Munoz. Ball cleared by Olmedo. Hugo Alba unable to hold on to it. Calderon anticipating that ball a little too hard, that first touch, letting the ball get away from him. Calma, 
Calma, con balón. Cambio línea, ¿no tenéis alguna? Here come Barça then, can they get their first chance on goal? It's a good little chip in. Colome trying to find his forwards. Taken. It's taken short. It comes across now again to the far post. It's a good chance for Barça. It was Pau Prim with the header. It was a good save by Pau Blanco, the Girona goalkeeper. Making sure to keep that ball out of the net. It's a long cross. And it was headed through by Navarro to foul Pau Prim. And finally, Barça will get another chance to generate an attack, but certainly so far, 23 minutes into this first half, by far the best chance for the home side to put one goal on the scoreboard. In comes another corner now from the other side. It's the one, two. In comes the cross again. This time Pau Prima unable to generate any danger as Girona now trying to stun the home side on the counter attack. Here comes the Girona number seven, Plaza. But, uh, the Girona forwards, again, giving that ball up way too easily, certainly to the liking of Pera Villadre, the Girona coach. <laughs> You can hear there Cuadrado and the technical staff counting the amount of passes. It's uh, of course a known exercise, at least in the Masia and also for times the first team at uh, the team and according to the rules or the philosophy rather of Johan Greif to complete a certain amount of passes before a team can actually start to uh, generate chances on goal fire shots on goal Perhaps that's something that Cuadrado is trying to instill in his team. As uh, Pradas now finds Pau Prima. Back it goes to Cristobal. With the cross cutting intercepted. Munoz there chasing down the ball. Getting on that ball very easily indeed. As Barça will build up another attack. 25 minutes gone so far in the first half for match day 14 of this National Youth League. Nil nil on the scoreboard. Unfortunately, we haven't seen too many chances being created from either side. It is again Olmedo trying to find his forwards. But uh, Girona, for what they're lacking in offensive intentions or even trying to hold on to the ball, they are so far disciplined in defense.
Si la quiere Juan, si Juan. Good chance here then. Barça bombing down the right hand flank is dispossessed very smoothly indeed. Palomares. Good ball movement again by Barça. In comes a low cross this time. Colome holding on to that ball as uh, it was a good move forward now. Again, Pau Blanco getting to that ball before the Barça forwards can. We're seeing Jan Colome very active though, participating in the Barça attack. It's a one against four. Girona players will need some help as uh, Barça are doing a good job in transitioning into defense. Not allowing the away side to surprise them in any quick, fast counter attack. Girona moving forward now. As uh, Payares forcing the first corner for the away side after the little one two between Paul Sivero and him. Ball going out of touch for a corner for Girona. Oh, it's a badly taken corner kick. Still in possession of the visitors. As a referee halts play, there's a player down in the Barca 18 yard box. There's a, a collision happening there. Seems to be fine though. Girona trying to get comfortable on the ball here, distributing it amongst the back line. Trying to push forward. There's a shot on target. Just going wide off of uh, Yo Cochin's goal. It was a, of a four shot indeed. By Onio Lopez. Half hour played then between the two, these two sides. Still nil nil on the scoreboard. And yes, being chased down by two Girona players. As uh, Navarro trying to take a quick throw in, but he's going to have to give it. 
to the team dressed in yellow and red. Payares. Throwing it long. Cuadrado es un pero es que no cuadrado en fact it was a uh, Antonio Javier Rivera Now Robert the throw and then No, uh, clear chance is being created here for neither the home side or the visitors. So far, just the one that was kept out by Pau Blanco, as it was uh, Pau Prima. I got a header on goal. distribution of the ball though is Pradas trying to link now with his teammates unfortunately Adrian Simon also getting dispossessed good ball through he finds Munoz out to the flanks here it is again Once more, Jean Colome with uh, time and space on the right flank. Pradas. Muñoz touching it back. Navarro also back to his defensive line as uh, Olmedo and the Barça players. Colome. We've been waiting for it, and in it finally came. What a beautiful cross to find ahead of Hugo Alba. Barça's patience and efforts finally being rewarded with a goal. And a little bit further to the far post, and the goal scored by the Barça number nine. Again, Barça reaping the fruits of their patience and their labor. As they continue to play patient but disciplined football and an attack, moving on to possession. And finally, through the wingers, finding a clear cross. And, uh, despite Girona, so far these opening 35 minutes being very disciplined and man marking, not leaving a whole lot of space for the home side. And one split second where they let their guard down. Barca managing to capitalize on the mistake by scoring the deserved one goal to nil. It's 10 minutes left here in the first half then. That goal certainly will be a relief for head coach Cuadrado, but not too much as uh, Girona are now trying to get one back on the score sheet. Oh, 
It's a very good goal. As uh, Hugo Alba then scoring his uh, third goal of the season so far. Girona playing now a bit more feistiness up in their level of energy. Energy overall, I would say, would have been turned up a notch. So, of course, this result won't do them any favors in the league standings. Good steal there by Munoz. Got to to watch out. You don't know with a lot of space and time. It's a good ball into the 18-yard box. But, uh, luckily, goalkeeper Cohen there, very aware, quick to react to prevent Nacho Plaza from getting to that ball, allowing Girona then to get their first chance on goal. Cuadrado happy here with uh, how Barca are trying to escape the high press. But also Girona get that. Not satisfied at all with how things are going. Certainly sense that uh, the energy levels and the pulses have been raised a little bit after this call for the visitors. The Barca will want to try to take the sting out of that switch and change in Girona's attitude. How did they do that? Well, you already know. Kicking that ball around between Pradas and Plaza in the back line. Just patiently picking and choosing where they want to pass that ball before quickly accelerating and turning it up a gear before putting it across. And hopefully like the 1-0 scenario where the flanks, the wingers, or the fullbacks find the forwards. Here we go then. And comes across. Cleared initially, but not far enough. Not out of the danger zone yet. As uh, oh, Prima manages to get the ball back under control of the Catalan side. The Blaugrana Catalan side, I should say. Good ball. One, two now between the Barca players. He comes across again. And it's another goal. And it's a fantastic play once again. You saw it being built up slowly but surely. Oh, what a great goal. The 2 0 being scored this time by Cristobal Munoz. Another header. Look at that. It was a great ball through the defensive lines as Adrian Simon left it. For the captain who had time and space to pick out the Barca number 10. It was an excellent pass indeed by Calderon to pick out Muñoz. Calderon there having space and time, like I said, to lift his head, choose his pass wisely. And so you can feel, feel that attack coming. Barca are able to sort of, like I said, just take the sting out of the game and slow the pace down before turning on the accelerator and quickly switch into full attack mode. As, oh, it's a clumsy tackle there. And Munoz, I think it was, as he picks up the yellow card. Rightfully so. Let's take a look there. No, it wasn't Munoz, excuse me. It was uh, Adrian Simon, a clumsy tackle. 
and picking up a yellow card then. First yellow card of the game so far. You have to say that uh, the referee has a little to do in that sense. It's been a good game for referee Mark Oltra. He comes across. It's called for our side. Girona falling for the offside trap. Well, 42 minutes gone here then in the first half. I say 14 between Football Club Barcelona and Football Club Girona. As, uh, Barca managed to hold on to the win. It would, uh, consolidate, they would consolidate their position in the first place. Currently sitting solo at the top. With 26 points, standout leaders then of this division. And uh, as I mentioned before, this is the first game played. So it would allow Barca at least for a couple of hours to sit there pretty at the top with 29 points. Four clear from both Espanol and Dam. Here's Barça again. Pradas finding Muñoz. It's a little bit too much mustard on that pass. There's a goal out for a goal kick. Cuadrado there saying he doesn't want his team to slow down to continue to apply that high press play the exact same way for these final minutes. It's a good attack here for Girona. As uh, Diego pounces on that ball, but it was a good drive in by Nacho Plaza. You see there Nacho Plaza chasing down the ball like a man possessed. <laughs> Barça, of course, happy to continue to pass the ball around, making the field as big as possible. As, uh, so far in the first half, they've done their homework. Being rewarded twice for their patience and good ball distribution. We could force another chance here, and it indeed goes. Here comes another cross. Got it on. Again, with the time and vision to try to find Cristobal Munoz but uh, the Girona defense they're quick to intercept that ball forcing a corner kick for the home side which could be the final play of the first half and comes across good clearance there by Pablo Blanco as indeed referee Marc Oltra will call the end of the first half a good half indeed by the home side Barça leading by two goals to nil, thanks to the goal scored by Hugo Alba as well as Cristobal Muñoz. Barça taking a deserved lead. Join us for another jam-packed second half as we will take a short break. See you in a bit. All right, well, the second half is ready to get underway. Hugo Alba and Cristobal Muñoz getting the goals for Fugu Club Barcelona. So the ball is now rolling in possession of the home side. Hopefully we can continue to see Barca dominate this game as they have as comfortably so far.
And come by the side again with the captain leading the charge. Unable to keep that ball in play. No rest for the weary as uh, Arsa immediately once more apply that high press. No changes so far then. Starting 11 for both sides remain unchanged. In come Barça then, once again, Calderón. When has he not been responsible for the attack? Consistently being sought out by his teammates there. As he leads Barça forward into what has been uh, a display of sheer another domination so far. Once again, Barça 7 with a lot of space and time. This time his cross is unable to find the Barça forwards. But immediately you see there, Pau Prim trying to close down any sort of space for a counter-attack. You don't know how able to escape it though. Again, Barça closing down the spaces ever so well, forcing these long passes over the top. And now the Barça midfielders to pass on them. Force in this case a throw in. It's excellent work so far by Pau Prim. You saw him again. He's lurking in that midfield. Could be a future Sergio Busquets in the making there. Just how he interprets and reads the game. Both when he's on, but in particular off the ball. Here he is. Able to find the spaces and deal with it. Without any sort of pressure or urgency or I should say anxiety rather. He's now closing down the ball, able to regain possession quickly. Be a goal kick for Barça. Very talented young player there. In Pau Prim. And he is constantly being sought out, also by his teammates. And again. Drive that ball forward. Get any get out of any pressured situation. Munoz, good turn. He's got space. He's got help as well around him. Pradas. 
Colome finding the captain. In comes Colome, puts it across. Colome there. Being encouraged to keep driving forward as he uh, tried to cut that ball back. Instead, lining up in the arms of the goalkeeper. There's another skillful midfielder there, and Adrian Simon. Several of these players, you have to believe, have a very bright future ahead of them, indeed. Here's Oval, by one of the goal scorers. Comes across. It was a good cross. Spider side again immediately regained that possession. Look patiently trying to lure Girona from their tight back lines. There's a heavy collision there. I think it was Munoz that hit the ground as he collided there with the Girona player. So he'll get medical help. It was a Munoz, as uh, Olmedo, excuse me. Let's take a look at this clash again. Olmedo getting the ball, but just out of sheer momentum and inertia as he clashed there against uh, Pallares, was it? Seems to have been an just a knock as uh, Alexis Olmedo will walk it off and surely rejoin this game and his team soon. Two nil so far still. 54 minutes played. Long ball now over the top. Cuadrado there, very active as he was in the first half, ordering his players around. As a Girona now trying to push forward, We're running into Blaugrana traffic. It's a fast ball back to the feet of Diego Cogen. And opts for safety first. So far, this last minute or so, the best minutes of uh, the visitors on the ball. slip up there allowing Colome to drive forward here he is all alone puts in a cross he's trying to find Hugo Alba but Hugo Alba didn't anticipate, anticipate the ball 
I'd rather let it go out for a corner. Ivan Cuadrado, the coach, is of course a player, or a coach rather, that also formed himself throughout 14 years in the Mazia ranks of the club of Barca. He made his debut for the first team under head coach Louis van Gaal at the time. It was uh, during a Champions League game. As another ball goes in, just scraping the side of the post. So I thought there might have been a touch on it. It was a dangerous cross whipped into the box. By Navarro. Narrowly escaping the target. But Cuadrado, so a player that made his debut for the first team. Although uh, he more frequently played in the second division for the Barça B side. He left the club eventually in 2001, where he played for Real Murcia, where he became uh, a regular in the starting lineup. And that even helped the team reach the Spanish tough flights in the tough flight in the 2002 and three season. Well, only to be relegated again at the end of the season before finally making it back once again while Ivan Cuadrado was playing there in the 2006 and 7 season where Cuadrado was uh, again as he was a fixed player in the starting 11 playing a total of 34 games in the league He also played two seasons for Malaga. In the first season, playing 14 games and salvaging the team from being relegated. However, in the second season, things didn't really turn out as well as they did in the first. And he played 14 games, or four games rather. And uh, eventually, that was the reason why he left in the winter transfer market to the Liga Adelante where he signed for Ponferradina while playing a short stint there before eventually moving to Rayo Vallecano also during the winter transfer market before eventually ending up his playing career playing in China for Shanghai Dunhai in the Chinese Super League. That's where he finished his career in 2015. And uh, ever since he retired, since 2018, he returned to Football Club Barcelona being the coach of this successful under 18 side. So that's from outside. It was a good shot as well. Forcing a save from Pau Blanco. In comes across. Neil Calderon whipping those dangerous crosses into the box. Forcing another corner for Barça. Let's take a look at that again. And as Colome decides to try his luck from outside of the 18-yard box. Took an awkward bounce there, but Pau Blanco with a good reaction. As uh, we're hitting the hour mark here in match day 14, first match to be on the way of this match day. 2-0 for the home side, in comes across. Oh, Pau Blanco can't hold on to it and lets it slip. As uh, it seems to have crossed the goal line, what a blunder. As uh, I was just singing the praises of the Girona keeper for keeping that effort of Gian Colome out of the back of his nets, but uh, 
in the subsequent play right here from this corner kick. Let's take a look at that again. It was a complete misgrab. Nothing that he can blame or find an excuse for other than very poor goalkeeping here by Pau Blanco. Which uh, in turn means, of course, that Pau Brim here <coughs> gets the third goal for the home side. Barca up by three goals to nil right at the hour mark. thanks to uh, the poor goaling keeping efforts of Pau Blanco Munoz. Well, it's not exactly uh, an Olympic goal, is it? As Barca will make their first substitutions. The goal Olimpico, of course, those goals that you directly manage to score from a corner kick into the goal. I don't know if that accounts for one if the goalkeeper gets an awkward touch to it. But two substitutions then for Barca as Wesley Walderrocha. De Rocha, excuse me, has entered the game. And immediately. Gets put under the pressure of the away side as they are trying to claw their way back. Brian in for Jan Colome then. Hugo Alba, Cristobal, Muñoz, and Pau Brim. The three goal scores for Barca so far this morning. Very comfortable cushion, I have to say, although don't want Barca to get over complacent here, neither. As uh, Romero gets put under the pressure of the Girona forwards. Good move there by Lopez to escape Barca's press there. Barca trying to close down the Girona number five as he is forcing in the throw kick, uh, throw in rather. And as another player has hit the deck. Well, no hesitations there. The entire team calling for a substitution. We've seen that it's more than just a, his calves cramping up. take a look again what happened here as uh, Navarro slides in or Olmedo rather and just maybe overextending his hamstring and hopefully the player will be all right but uh, just out of precaution I would assume Cuadrado not hesitating to put in Hector Rangel for his third substitution. As he takes out the Barca number four. Now the collision. It's the last thing you want, of course, after having built up uh, a comfortable three goal cushion, is to have uh, players get injured unnecessarily. Quick 
ball movement here. Players doing an excellent job in finding each other. Finding the spaces. Adrian Simon passing it back to the just substituted Hector Rangel. Marisa trying it from the left flank now. It's a good move forward and an excellent ball into the box. Here we go. There's a shot. Oh, Alba trying his luck once again. It was an effort that was blocked this time, forcing a another corner kick for the home side. And it comes again to the far post, as we saw in the first two goals as well. Oh, looking for that far post. trying to get something out of this game something positive Lopez deciding to slow the pace down after a couple of frenetic minutes from Girona trying to get a hint of positivity, something that they can cling on to to try to get a goal back. Maybe this one. It was a good, excellent effort there in defense. Good clearance there, as you can see, by Adrian Simon to force a throw in for the away side. Tempo certainly not slowing down as uh, Girona remain adamant to keep playing to try to get a goal back. Certainly, Cuadrado's side will want to slow the pace down as uh, there's just 20 minutes left. And having one player. Being substituted for uh, an unnecessary injury, or an unprovoked injury, I should say. Paso, 
Si no es para Rangel, el 15, Adrián. Si no para Rangel, que tú tienes amenaza. Rangel, ven aquí, que Adrián tiene dos. Calderón, they're closing down any option. Girona passing that ball forward. There's two Barca players now pouncing on this throw in. Try to regain that possession. This time now, oh, it's a nasty foul there. No call though. Girona will continue this play. And drive into the box. The ball's cleared for throwing. Players there fighting for possession between Neil Calderón and Vergara. As uh, Adrián Simón there clearing that ball for the corner for Girona. Seems they picked up a little knock on his shoulder. As it looks like Girona are getting ready to make several substitutions, perhaps up to three. Uh, the clock is winding down, not leaving the away side with a whole lot more options. Here comes another cross. Uh, easily picked up by the Okohen. Again, Barca playing out from the back. Controlled, poised, measured. Patiently making sure that all these players in the back touch the ball. You saw there Uwarsi screaming for the ball as he was left with a lot of space. And that's a good long ball forward. A very good ball. What will he do? Colome there trying to march forward. But losing control of the ball as it's already gone out for a goal kick and taken for Girona. Simon playing with Pradas. Back to Simon. Colome. See now Girona. Really don't want to add injury to insult. They're trying to stay as disciplined as they were in the opening minutes in defense. As it was a good drive. Into the box there by Prades, but uh, unable to find his teammates. Here we are then, then three substitutions, as well as two more for Barça, that's three for Girona. Coming on are Nicolas Exposito, Solo Traoré, as well as Adrian Dominguez for Girona, and for Barça. It's the number 17, Juan Hernández and Nico Takahashi with the number 14. Four of the five substitutions then made for Barça. Or all five, as a matter of fact including the injury we saw earlier. So no more substitutions there for Cuadrado side. Mm -hmm. 
There it is, Arnau Pradas will come out then for Nico Takahashi. Marisa switching sides. And uh, despite the lack of visual confirmation, ball going out of touch. Good interception by Vesli. Simon passing that ball to Brian. Simon again. Brian. Brian. Taking one step too much. Is he now? It's an excellent job at getting the ball back. Here's Pradas. Getting help. Tries to cut inside. It was a good, very good cross indeed. And a good shot as well. As uh, Pau Blanco then forces a corner for Football Club Barcelona. Thought he was going to cross there, but it was a good fake out as he cuts inside to allow Juan Hernandez Torres to get his first shot on target of the game. Might have been his first touch of the game as well. He's just come in, of course. The referee says play on. At no moment in this game have uh, you ever felt that Girona were close to scoring a goal, though. As uh, you see there, Hugo Alba, Cristobal Muñoz, and Pau Brim. The three different goal scorers that have allowed Barca to have taken a comfortable lead. And despite there being 12 minutes left in the game, you have to say a very comfortable game as well. Barca just dominating their opponents from beginning to end. Making sure that uh, Girona were no threat. Despite uh, the game being played with good tempo, it's been an upbeat game. Good vision there by Wesley Dual de Rocha. Ebro escape. And surrounded by four Girona players. Here he is again, this time with a lot of space and time. Simon. Excellent. Escaping out of that press. One of the next pass, Brian. Here's Navarro. Pabrin. Colome, good pass. Over to Vesli. And is out on the flanks again. Once again, Pradas will take it himself. And deserved that goal as it was good interception now. And there it is then. Barca just relentless in their high press. You can see the hunger and ambition of these players. As uh, Takahashi, with perhaps his first touch as well, certainly his first shot of the game. As uh, Pradas there doing an excellent job to force Pau Blanco, the Girona keeper, to make a save. Check this out. And he comes, Nico Takahashi, anticipating that pass, getting the ball back, and putting the home side up by four goals to nil. Four different goal scorers on the day. It's a good day at the office for 
Iván Cuadrado Side. You can see again that uh, just how well the goal is uh, spread and divided amongst this team. We were mentioning earlier the amount of goals that uh, the players have picked up so far this season. It's a uh, game where Barça managing to extend their goal tally quite a bit as well. They're currently sitting top of the league. Comfortably, that is, as uh, standout leaders. 26, now 29 points, but in terms of goals scored, you can add another four, so that allows Barça to be the team with the most goals scored of this Group 7 youth division. 29 in favor, and just the 12 conceded. As um, the top goal scorer of the team, Calderón, as well as Marc Guilli, have uh, not scored. They're both sitting with five and four goals. These honors being taken care of today by the rest of their teammates. Here come Barça again, causing massive threat. Arnau Pradas chopping his way inside of the 18-yard box of Girona. It's been a good game. Certainly by the number 11 for Barça. We'll take a look at Barça's commitments for these upcoming weeks as there's another attack here being flagged for offside. Next week, the 22nd, Barça will travel to Lleida. Before the week after that, also having to play away against Martinez, Lleida. Normally a solid side, currently sitting dead bottom of the standings. And Martinez as well, sort of in the bottom mid standings of the league table. So before facing a more sturdier competition as it's Sabadei after that and Jabaki Terraza, then Figueras, uh, the calendar at least for the domestic league. So it's getting a little bit more tricky for this Barca side on March 5th when they will have to play away against Dam. Only Dam also tied in second place with Espanyol. And finally, Another Catalan derby, or a Barcelona, the city of Barcelona derby, I should say, that will take place on March 19th between this Barça and Espanyol side being played at home. Five minutes left here in the second half before the 90 minutes. A lovely individual play here. There's uh, Nico Takahashi there, forces. Corner kick. In. Cleared, but the ball is not out of the danger zone yet. Far from it, in fact. Far from it. Instead, is the 5 0. 
as Hector Rangel patiently stood there and made sure he was onside as uh, Girona were late to force that offside trap. Let's take a look at that again. Cross being whipped in. Clearance there. The Girona players slow to react as uh, you see Hector stood patiently waiting for that ball to fly back into the 18 yard box and getting the 5 nil on the day for Barca continuing the streak of the goals being scored by the different players 5 on the day so far it's an impressive performance by Ivan Cuadrado's side adding their goal tally now to 30 in total. And uh, this so far making it their best score line so far this season. Just last weekend, it was a 4-1 against San Andreo that at least amounted to the most amount of goals scored on the day for Barca as well as a 4-1 back on the 9th of October against Jabaki Terraza. But uh, no more than three goal, dif than a three goal difference that they managed to have so far this season. That was before this match against Girona. Barca will surely walk away with five, if not maybe one more goal before time is completed. And hopefully, as well in the case of Diego Coge and the entire defensive line, of course, continue to have no goals, to not concede any more goals to keep that as well. On 12 goals conceded so far this season as uh, another player goes down for Barca, cramping up again. He's out on the touchline, so the play will be able to resume quickly. Two minutes left now. And Girona still get a goal of honor, as they say. It's looking like it'll be a tough season for the club from the north of Catalonia. Just 17 points after 13 matches or 14. They've won just the four, drawn five, and now lost five. 16 goals they've managed to score and before this game they conceded 17 well, I had another five to that so that's 22 goals conceded as now it's Adrian Simon who's on the floor and seems to also opt to maybe seek some medical help or not no he'll stay, he'll stay in as the ball's already back in play Playing long now. Simon getting in a touch. Brian holding on to it. Eventually losing it. Here's Girona now. He's good dummy by Solo Traore. Brian. Juan Hernandez. Well, with uh, how things are going, you have to uh, imagine that this will be uh, a fruitful season indeed for this side. As the B side of the under 19s squad, you could say. So, uh, Nico Takahashi is coming off the bench, hyper motivated. Bouncing on any loose ball that he can get his foot to. And one, of course, forcing a goal as well in a 4 0. Uh, we've now reached the 90 minute mark. Imagine that the referee will allow play to continue for a couple more minutes. But uh, Mark Ultra will surely be aware of. Uh, Perhaps the scoreline or also the uh, unforced injuries that are 
certainly happening for the case of Barca as the intensity of this game is still at its maximum. Girona trying their best to get at least a goal out of this. You can see they haven't given up. I mean, the tempo and the intensity has not dropped despite the uh, lack of chances. Goal scoring opportunities or even ball possession for the away side. Calma, calma. You hear Iwan Cuadrado there ordering his players to slow things down. Last thing he would want is more unforced injuries. Barca now just happy to sit back, pass that ball. Between the players. 92 minutes. 92 minutes gone here in match day 14. The first game of the jornada of the match day will end in a resounding victory for Ivan Cuadrado's men. Five goals to nil. Like I said, the highest goal scoring tally so far in the season for Cuadrado's men. And there it is. You just want to slow the game down. It's kind of pointless continuing in the 93rd minute to play with this kind of intensity as now. Marco Oldra decides enough is enough. No more injuries as Barca take a comfortable win here against Girona at home. Five goals to nil. All five goal scorers being different on the day as well. It was thanks to Hugo Alba and Muñoz that Barca allowed to extend their score sheet before Pau Takahashi and Rangel finished it off. That'll be it. See you in the next one.